hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i'm going to show you how to create a dynamic uh, share button in uh, facebook using php so in my previous video i have shown how to create it in html i have shared my uh, the link of that video in my description you can have it and let's check out how to do this in php so normally how we does is we'll copy uh, the link of the uh, share page and uh, we'll go to the facebook tool and uh, paste our url there and get the iframe code for the uh, share so i'll show you that also so let me search for facebook share here it is share button social plugin so here what we does actually is uh, we can uh, go directly to share button we can go directly to share button configurator and uh, we can paste the url here so yeah for example i have my website uh, chillyfacts.com and uh, if i need a share button for this uh, page and I'll, I'll copy this url and come here and paste it here and i'll select my layout here whether it is large or small and just click get code so in the iframe section which is the easiest way so iframe section i will copy uh, the iframe code of that and uh, paste wherever we want so what is the drawback here is we have to copy for every page uh, manually and get the iframe code for that so in PHP we can do one thing like uh, the iframe section be uh, static and we can dynamically change the href value here here it is the href link of uh, the page which we want to get the sharer so i am going to write a code to take uh, the url from uh, the page directly and put it dynamically here and create our facebook sharer okay here we go uh, let me create a php page now and test this iframe code here so i'm going to my uh, folder i'm going to create a new text document actually i'm not having a php editor here what i'm going to do is uh, I'll uh, create the PHP page and upload in my website uh, chillyfacts.com and we, we are going to directly test from there okay so here it is now I'm uh, going to create a PHP page like share dot uh, share one dot PHP and save it and I'm assigning uh, permanently that and let me open this one in a notepad and write my code here there. now what I'm going to do is uh, copy this iframe code completely and paste it here and uh, I'm gonna save this so if I am uh, <coughs> uploading this to my uh, website it should run there now this is the file manager of my website chillyfacts.com I'm going to upload here so upload now select the file from my uh, desktop here it is share one dot php so i'm going to upload it okay so it's uploaded let me try in my uh pay website chillyfacts.com slash share one dot php so it should create uh, the sharer for my this page free library management software if i'm clicking that let's see here it is uh, free library management and all the information is coming come in there so this is actually hard coder now i'm going to write the php code to get uh, the link from uh, the url directly and uh, paste the link here here okay in this in this section of uh, this iframe code so for that first let me uh, in the shared one dot php uh, i'm going to write the php open i'm php code just go down so i'm going to open it here php and i'm gonna end it here okay so inside this we are going to write our php go i'm going to give a hello world here echo uh, testing test sharer okay now i'm going to paste it this completely inside this one and uh, give a breakpoint here okay now let me save this and upload in my website and check how it is share 
yes it's been uploaded yeah it's uploaded completely let me refresh this page no it's not working yes it's now working because it the iframe code is inside the php tags i'm putting it outside remove the breakpoint from here also copy it here save it here and uh, going back to my uh, cpanel file uploader just select the file again just give some time to upload yeah it's start yeah it's uploader now going to my page and refreshing yes it's uh, loaded actually so this is the same one uh, with my library management so i'm going to move further on uh, this page so what i'm uh, doing here is i'm taking the uh, url from uh, my web page first for and uh, the link for that is yeah the code for that is here it is so what this does is this will take uh, the url of uh, the page automatically i'm going to print it here in the echo and uh, copying these two lines and coming to our page here one dot php i'm pasting it that here okay now saving it now i'm going to same upload it again here now if i'm going to the page and refreshing it we can see here it's uh, printing my uh, url of uh, my web page okay so i'm going to put it down and uh, rearrange again so i have uh, rearranged it here now let me save and upload it my uh, uploader to my website again now upload it completely let me refresh it yes so this is the first error and i, let, I have printed my uh, url link same and i have the already written the code uh, to print the iframe and i'm just replacing the href value with uh, the uh, actual complete link okay now I'll copy let me copy all these and coming back to my uh, share one dot uh, php so this should be inside the php tags yes now we have a complete successfully written all the codes to take uh, the url from uh, the, uh, the page and uh, print it here okay now let me save it here now coming back to my uploader and upload it again yes it's uploaded completely now let me refresh it yes the share has been come so what it does is if i am uh, clicking the share button so i'm going to share this one uh, in my web page and if i'm going to click post to facebook and uh, go into my website i mean uh, my facebook id and you can see here uh, in my uh, page i have already shared here just now and uh, if i'm just clicking this one it will be taken to my share one dot uh, php so this is how uh, you can uh, create the dynamic sh uh, share button now as you can see here this is share one dot php i'll show you uh, i'm just changing the name of uh, this page and something else and let's try that also so i'm going to uh, close the this file and going back to the sharer and i'm just uh, giving the name as uh, share test uh, facebook okay facebook now i'm just uh, renamed it and uh, i'm going to upload it my website share test facebook just give it some time now uh let me search for this page in my website uh chillyfest.com slash uh share facebook dot php yes now we can see here uh this is uh it has already taken my url automatically now if i'm just sharing it it will be directly that uh share i'm going to post it in my facebook now refreshing this again and now if i am just clicking this it should take me to share test facebook okay now that's all about uh, how to make it dynamic uh, share button so you you don't need to you not need to paste always uh, the url and go into the tool and get the iframe code all you want to do is uh, just uh, 
copy our sharer uh, code this one till this one uh, till uh, till this one to all the pages so it will create automatic sharer okay so if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share this source code in my description you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and uh, thanks for watching